After the car is ignited, it will enter the original car system. You can use iDrive knob to operate the original car system normally. Touch the screen with your hand and you'll switch to the Android Devices System Interface. Click Car Info in the main interface of Android System to switch back to the original system interface. You can also press the menu key for 2 to 3 seconds to switch to the system interface of Android Device. The Android System can be operated normally with the iDrive knob. Press the FMM key on the host panel directly to switch to the original radio interface, or press the FMM key next to the iDrive knob to switch. Please insert the SIM card through the following steps. After the SIM card is successfully inserted, a signal sign will be displayed on the Android main interface. If a aftermarket camera is installed on the car, please follow the steps to set it up. Only when the aftermarket camera is installed can it be used normally. If there is a reversing camera on the vehicle, follow the steps to set it. You can open the navigation function directly from the Android main interface. Please follow the steps below to set the volume of Android device. Insert the USB stick in FAT32 format. Then enter the music player from the Android device, click the arrow on the left side of the screen to find the USB option, and you can see the list of songs in the USB stick. Click one of the songs to play. When playing music you can use the control keys on the steering wheel to control the volume and sweet ECH songs. In addition, we can turn on the movie in the USB stick in the same way, or we can control the volume with the control buttons on the steering wheel.
Android devices can realize the split screen function. First, click the split screen icon in the upper right corner of the main interface. Then all the programs running in the background will appear. Long press and click one of the programs and drag it to the gray area on the left side of the screen. Then click one of the programs from the right to realize the split screen function. To use the CarPlay feature, connect your phone and Android devices with Bluetooth. Then enter the app menu from the main interface, find this link app and click open, select agree to pair, and read the mobile phone contact information. After successful connection, it will automatically enter the multimedia interface. At this time, you can use iDrive knob to control the multimedia interface. When playing music you can use the controls on the steering wheel to control the volume and switch songs. You can set the fuel unit and temperature unit of the instrument panel interface through the following steps. You can also set the speed unit of the dashboard interface through the following steps.
If there is an abnormal display in the interface of the original vehicle system after installing Android device, please select the correct option according to the size of the original vehicle system and display screen by the following steps. If the selection is wrong, the original vehicle system interface is abnormal. If the system and screen size is selected correctly, the original vehicle system interface is normal L. Android devices can choose their own favorite UI interface, please switch settings through the following steps. After the setting is successful, return to the main interface and wait 10 seconds to turn off the Engine and power off the car. Wait about 3 minutes for the car to turn off the power completely, and then start the car. Then switch UI interfaces successfully, 